What's up folks? This time we're back today on Debian for the second part of the how to compile a ROM from source tutorial. What we'll be doing today is installing the Android SDK. This will give you fastboot and ADB which are useful for debugging and fixing your system if it's not booting or something like that. It happens all the time. So first thing we need to do is go to the Android SDK website, click the download SDK and choose 64 bit, download this. I've already downloaded it. I don't need to do that again. And next step we'll have to do it, actually I'll just pull up the show notes. So here you go. This I'll put this website in the description. Next thing you have to do is pull up a terminal and just change directory to your downloads folder. Here if we type ls, you'll see this ADT bundle Linux x86 64-bit zip. Just type unzip and then ADT bundle dot zip and then that'll just unzip the entire file and you'll be left with this. And then you want to move that. you want to move that to where this Android folder is right here and technically we could have combined these two steps but this is a tutorial so I'm not going for efficiency really I'm going for showing you guys what you're actually doing so I mean you could have just unzipped this to this location but to move this thing there you just type MV because that's the rename command also ADT bundle and then do this tilde and then Android, which will move it right there. Okay, and with that, you could use it, but you'd have to navigate to. You could use ADB and Fastboot, but you'd have to navigate to where it's located and run the command as dot slash. That's inefficient, so we'll add this to our script, so we can just use it whenever we want. So we're going to first edit our .bash RC file. So you'll have to type that in and add your root password. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And as you can see, I've already added this here. And if you guys choose to rename this stuff in this previous step to a different place, it won't work with this command. You'll have to change this a little bit. But that's simple stuff. I'm sure you guys can handle it. Next step is add it editing the dot profile file here we're actually adding adding it to our path so down here the last command I've put that right over here so just copy and paste You're good to go save the file exit and the last step we'll have to do is give each device permissions and there's actually a little modification to the step that you might also have to do You can just copy and paste all of this over here, and that should get you a working that should get you working ADB. However, sometimes fastboot is finicky, and if you've rebooted a couple times and fastboot is still not working, you'll have to go to this other site that I've posted at the how to. This is the source.android.com, and this is for configuring USB access, and you might have to find your device if. For example, mine's the Nexus 7 here. Or if you see, here's two different things ADB protocol and fastboot protocol. They're different, but just Google around, find your device, and add whichever line this is, and replace this entire dot username thing with your actual username. So if we go to my file over here, you'll see it's over here, right here. So that's just for me. That's that won't work for you. And actually, now that I think about it, I'll add this to the description here too. So there you have it. And to test if it's working, there's a couple things you can do, but. The first step you'll have to do is reboot. I have this installed, so I don't have to worry about that. 
but you can type Android and if this will load there we have it this will let you install more packages newer build tools um, APIs if you're in a development this is also has if you install some some stuff here you could use emulation for apps it's this is pretty handy and the next thing we can do is because I have my Nexus 7 plugged in right now we can just do ADB devices and you can see there we have it plugged in and because I fixed the fast boot we should be able to reboot bootloader and in a second we will be in fast boot and now we can see fast boot devices and hopefully they'll come up there we have it fast boot devices my thing is plugged in in fast boot and we're good to go so that concludes the tutorial for today if you liked it click the like like button and i'll see you guys next time have a good one